shit. You tryna ride with me? She like you got two seats. I said get in with me. And I flex, 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 flex. And I flex, 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 flex. I'm steady flexing. She liking how I'm dressing. What's up, y'all? It's Slum. Happy Friday! It's Friday! And we're going to be doing a mukbang, y'all. A mukbang! Totally different mukbang. All right, today I'm going to be trying some African food, y'all. Some fufu and a goosey soup. If that's how you sit. But I'm gonna be trying that from a restaurant downtown Richmond called African. That's what it's called, African or African. So I'm gonna try it there. Y'all gonna go in there with me and we're gonna pick up the food. We're gonna come back to the crib when we're gonna eat the food. Alright? So yeah. I hope y'all been having a great week. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit that like button, you hit that subscribe button, which is that red button, and you hit that bell so you can be notified every time I drop another banger on my channel. And for the people that's not new on my channel, welcome back, gang. It's slumming this joint. You already know what it is. You heard me? So, I'm going to just see y'all in the car. Go. And the fufu. Say that first one. There's one with goat, one with fish, and then there's the vegan version. Uh, I take the goat one. Is that the most popular? Yeah. Okay, I take that one. Okay. Do you say you want a small or a large? I'll take a small, yeah. Small. And that comes with the soup and the fufu, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, because this is my first time. This is my first time trying it, so I'm sorry if I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of people call this first time, want to try the fufu, and you see it, the one they want to try is the most popular. I've seen a name for your order. Um, hold on, say that one more time about the popular thing. Say that one more time. You were skipping. Oh, I was talking about what you had said about the um, popular thing. You said um, the people that never tried it. What was you saying? Yeah, I was just saying um, that you're fine. Like, a oh. lot of, you know, a lot of first-time uh, customers who want to try the food and eat goofy, so it's the most popular. Um, so, yeah, you are the, you are the only one. Oh, okay, cool. Um, my name is um, Epps, E-P-P-S. All right, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. All right, thank All right, you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Driving solo, I'm just swerving through my hands. When I'm sober, I just don't like who I am. Pull me up a four, and I feel like myself again. Blow me up some dope, and I feel like myself again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, we have the Goosey Goats with Fufu. Yes. The only restaurant in Richmond. Yes. So please come on by at 1102 West Main. Okay, yay. <laughs> Thank you for that, for real. I was sober for an hour, but I'm rolling off a bean now. The drugs that give me confidence, I'm saying what I need now. The Zennies help me slow up, the lean and help me speak. What? Oh, everybody is slum, and I'm back with another muck. Bang on your ass, right? I'm back with another muck bang, and not just any muck bang, not just any muck bang, gang. We got some African food here.
some African cuisine, some fufu, and some uh, goose soup. I hope I said it right. But that's what, that's what we got going over here, y'all. We got some fufu, and we got some a goosey soup. All right. Goat, a goosey soup. Goat. And for the drink, we got some ginger ale. I know I ain't been here in a long time, y'all, and I appreciate y'all patience and time. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been trying to give y'all a little here and there, vlog here and there, you know what I'm saying? Some. Some for the one time, one time, or the two time, or the three time, you know what I'm saying? But I be trying to give y'all what I can give y'all when I can give y'all it. But I know y'all ain't seen me right here in a hot minute. So I was like, why don't I do this, this African mukbang for the first time back in front of the back flat? First time back in front of the jump, y'all. You hear me? So we back, y'all. And I got some fufu on the goosey soup I'm about to try for y'all. Hey, look. If this your first time on my channel, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, which is that red button, and that notification bell. Okay? So you will be notified every time I slum wedge drop another mug bang on this channel, or I just do a regular vlog for y'all. But you'll know about it if you hit that notification bell. Every time I drop something new, you won't know because... That notification won't go off for you. Just hit that bell for me, all right? If this is not your first time back in my channel, welcome back, gang. It's slum. You already know what it is. You already know what it do. You already know how I move. You hear me? But nah, y'all. We're going to say the grace that we're going to get into it because I'm hungry, all right? I miss y'all. I hope y'all didn't have a blessed week. You hear me? I hope y'all didn't have been great, blessed. Can't complain. Keep your head straight. Cutting off those loose ends, those that dead, that dead weight that don't serve you no more, that don't, you know... Serve you any purpose. That can go for an environment, a person, a thing. It don't matter. Anybody that's not bringing purpose to your life or that's, that's dragging you down or draining you, cut them off. You hear me? Cut them off. Cut. Ain't no point of you dealing with that because they're going to drain your energy. And you don't need nobody to drain your energy, all right? Let's get into this grace and I'm going to get into this foo-foo, you hear me? Bow your heads, everybody. Lord God, thank you for this meal I'm about to receive. Let it be nourishment for my body, dear God. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank you for everything that you're going to do, dear God. Continue to bless everybody in this world, dear Lord. Bless the people that's less fortunate than me, dear God. Give them what they stand in need of. Bless my family, my friends. Bless my blood, dear Lord. Deliver us all from evil, dear God. And cover us in your blood. I ask this prayer in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, y'all, so today we got a goosey and we got fufu. Y'all see me, I'm going to do it with a ginger ale. Bring it down. No, I ain't got no Jamaican drink. Look. No Jamaican drink, okay? I just I just got ginger ale, right? I just, okay? Just don't judge me, all right? I'm just, and if y'all hear lightning going on, that's just God doing God work. So let God do God work because it's been hot out here, y'all. It's been hot. It's like Satan walking around outside all day or something because why is it so hot outside? Ain't no wind, you know, even when it rain or pour, girl, it's still hot. It don't matter, y'all, family, it don't matter, it's been hot, y'all, like, I swear. I be feeling like I'm in, I am in Africa because it's be hot out here. All right, let's see what they got going on. Okay, y'all, okay, okay, okay. I reloaded, I reloaded. Mm, pretty good so far. I'm going to go warm it up some, y'all. Hold up. All right, so let's get a little, get a little warm temperature here. We're going to untie this. They say you're just supposed to swallow it, y'all. But I didn't seen people swallow it and damn near die. So I don't think I'm going to swallow. I think I'm going to chew. You hear me? And they said the fufu kind of like a mashed potato. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a mashed potato. Um, uh, what you call it? What is it called? Like texture, you feel me? 
a mashed potato. Uh, what you call? It? This is a fufu. It's a fufu. And this is a soup. Alright, y'all, let's get into it. This is my first time. But this go good, y'all. This go is good, y'all. Mm. Okay. I see what it is. I see it, y'all. That's with the goat meat and the um the foo foo. I'm telling you, this shit so goddamn good make you want to talk African, be African, all that you can be African. You know what I mean? This shit good, y'all. It's my first review on some fufu and um, a goosey. It's really good. I like it a lot. That's the goat meat. Cute African music. Shit good. All right. I finished about half of it. So for my first time trying this, I would get this a nine out of 10. Really, like a 10 out of 10, really. I, you know, it's really good, like. It's really good, okay? So I'm gonna give it a, a 10 out of 10, like a nine out of 10, like, I mean, the fufu by itself very bland. This by itself is okay, but together it smack. It smack. It smacks especially with that damn goat meat, man. With this goat meat right here, right here. This goat meat right here. Slap. If you live in Virginia. Richmond, to be exact. Make sure you go to African um, Main Street. Not going to let you down. <clears throat> this food is so good. Really good. 
If I get a fufu, a seven. I get a goosey. Well, I get a fufu like a five because it don't really have a taste to it. And I get a goosey like um by itself, I give it a a six. But together, bum. Good. You can't go wrong. Seriously. See, the food food is kind of like a mashed potato consistency. And the goat really tastes like steak, really, to me. American wise, you know what I'm saying? You know, but like it just, it's good. Like y'all need to try it. Like definitely amazing. I just were, I did not like by looking at it, I would have been like, you know what I'm saying? And that's no judgment against no culture or anything like that. It's just, but just by looking at it, I'd just be like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? But no, like, no, don't judge a book by its cover. This is definitely if don't judge a book by a cover was was something because this shit right here, this right here off the chain good make sure you visit african on main street y'all that's in richmond okay downtown richmond virginia good it's good i like it i love it i wouldn't mind eating it more you know i don't see the i don't see what's wrong Cause like, and then when you tear the goat apart, it comes apart like a state. You know what I'm saying? It come apart like a state. Mm. It's good, y'all. For real. Real good. Like... My almost it's almost gone. All of it. Mm. I ain't know. Go taste like that, y'all. That's pretty good. So yeah, like I said. Make sure you go check it out. African downtown Richmond, okay? Man, I love y'all, man. I hope y'all been amazing. For real. I forgot to do a damn thumbnail. So, that was just a little quick review for y'all of Africa on Main Street. I hope life for y'all been blessed. I hope, you know what I'm saying, make sure y'all go check out my other videos that I've been posting. I got the Chris Brown Little Baby Concert Vlog. I, you know, I just um, posted, uh, what was it, Sunday, I think. A while ago. Yeah. Check out that vlog. Also check out RW Flame for his ice makers. He has a crushed ice maker. He also has a regular ice maker. Check those out. Those videos out as well. Okay, if you like an ice maker, I know a lot of y'all people like ice out there. If you want an ice maker, make sure you go get an ice maker for yourself. Please. Please. Um to stay, you know, good in all this heat. You feel me? Um 
Other than that, man, yeah, just go look at my other videos if you haven't looked at my other videos already. Y'all stay blessed, stay prayed up, man. I love y'all to death, man. I'm sorry I haven't been getting to it like that from, you know, in front of this, like this way. But I still been coming to y'all with some, you know, some videos, man. So I just miss y'all, and, and I'm going to start doing this more often. You know, hopefully I'll have enough free time to start doing it again. But I just been working a lot, y'all. I just been working a lot, you know, just grinding. You know, um, some YouTubers have full-time jobs and some YouTubers don't have full-time jobs. Like, I have a full-time job, you guys. So it's pretty hard to keep it consistent like that, especially if you're working 13-hour shifts every day. You feel me? Um, but I know y'all understand. And like I said, um, I'm going to just be coming more, you know what I'm saying, if I can for y'all. Uh, but I do apologize for not coming with, you know, consistent two to three videos a week. I'm just doing as much as I can, you feel me? But y'all got to stay the narrow way. Stay prayed up. You know, don't let nothing get you down, out, you know what I'm saying? Stressed out. Pray about it, you know what I'm saying? God will lead you through that right path. He will be that light for you to go through that darkness, I'm trying to tell you. Pray about it, you feel me? Um... So, just keep your head up out there. For the women out there, keep your head up. For the men out there, keep your head up. For the kids out there, keep your head up. Everybody, keep your head up. For real. It's, you know, it might seem like it's the worst time of life right now, but it's really not, okay? Everything's going to be all right. You just got to, you have to believe that in order for it to be something. In order for it to be real, you have to believe it, okay? I love y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick mukbang. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put the description. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put Africans um, IG down in the description below, so y'all can go to their Instagram page, check them out, um, and then y'all can you know go by their restaurant one day and try out this bomb ass fufu and a goose soup. Y'all can do that. So I'm gonna put all the. All the links and things in the description below, description box below, okay? Make sure y'all go hit those links and stuff and uh, and get on it, man. Go try some African food. Y'all know y'all want to. Something different, something new. I enjoyed it. It was amazing. It was so good, so tasty. Like, I love it. Um, I will have it again, most definitely. It was this uh, this review was amazing. So I really, I really enjoy it and I really appreciate the lady at African Restaurant for actually being nice to me and, um, and tell me about, you know, you know, everything they had going on in the restaurant and stuff like that. You know, they're the best restaurant, the best African restaurant in Virginia. The only one, you know, that's in Richmond. So, yeah, go check them out. They real neat, nice and neat and clean up in there, too. You know what I'm saying? They got a whole bar in there, like a food bar in there, too. Y'all got to go check it out, man. It's a real nice place, real nice people, real good vibes, real good aura. Okay? But until the next time we may eat, to the next time we may speak, to the next time I may vlog, I love y'all, man. Y'all got to stay up. Stay blessed, okay? Don't do nothing I wouldn't do, all right? And stay that narrow path. Stay that narrow path. Only person that's gonna get you off that narrow path is you. You are who you hang, hang with, and two and birds of a feather flock together. Okay, so be careful who you hang around, and be careful of um, wolves and sheep clothing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful of of wolves and sheep clothing, man. People will present themselves as something that they're really not. They'll lie to you, you know what I'm saying? Lie on you, talk about you behind your back. You don't know who they is for real. They'll lie on you to lie to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing, you know what I'm saying? They act like they something that they're not. They try to, you know, present themselves as such, such good people, but really evil as hell. And really have bad intentions for certain people and certain things and certain environments. You know, you really got to be careful of wolves and sheep clothing. People that act like your friends, but they really not. People that smile in your face, but they really want to see you doing bad. You know what I'm saying? Them wolves and sheep clothing. So be careful who you be around, who you hang around. It don't matter if it's family or friends. 
The closest person to you can despise you. The closest person to you can be the most jealous of you. The closest person to you can hurt you the most. The closest person to you can abandon you. So really be careful of who you hang with and who you give your time and energy to. Because people out here can be energy vampires as well. Okay? So know who and what you're hanging around and giving your energy to. Because you don't want your energy to be a waste of time. You don't want your energy to be a waste of time. And you don't want nobody around you that's going to drain your energy. So much they drain your energy so much that you don't even have energy to move. Because they didn't drain it so much. You know what I'm saying? Also, don't be around people that make you, if you feel like you're, 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 you're kind of like timid or scared around somebody or, you know, like bad vibes, bad aura, like you don't need to be around that. Your heart start beating fast when somebody come around or something like that. Because that person, they have they, they hot and cold. Some days they nice, some days they mad, some days they sad, some days they want to go off for no reason, you know what I'm saying? But you got to watch out for people like that, man. Because they will project their self onto you. And they will make you feel the most insecure in life. So just be careful who you give your energy to, y'all. That's all I'm going to say for the rest of this video, okay? And y'all know I usually be talking about something. So I'm just trying to lay a little bit one, two here and there. So that y'all can understand what I'm really saying. Be careful who you hang around with and be careful who you're giving your energy to. Because the person that said they love you the most can really hurt you the most, okay? They can really turn their back on you, you know what I'm saying? So just really, you know, stay the course. Use discernment when choosing friends and hanging out with friends and family. Use discernment. Don't just hang with people because you, you think they love you or you think you love them. You have to read the room. Observe the vibe. Observe the energy. Observe everything. You know what I'm saying? You never know how somebody is. And you never know who's watching you. Ever. You never know who's watching you. So, gang, until next time. Like I said, this is your first time on my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification so you can be notified every time I drop another bang on my channel. You hear me? And if this not your first time, welcome back, gang. I'm a slump. And I love y'all, man. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for six. Thousand subscribers, yes, sir. Six thousand subscribers. We at there, we there, gang. Four thousand more, we be at 10k. And y'all know what 10k mean merch and dice, merch and dice, period. So, yeah, let's do it, gang. I love y'all, love all my supporters, love all the comments. Make sure y'all leave like a comment. Tell me what y'all want me to do next. You know, let me know how y'all been doing in the comments. Tell me what y'all was eating on today in the comments. Tell me what y'all did this week in the comments. What y'all been up to in the comments. Some in the comments. Leave some comments, man. I love replying to y'all. I'm going to reply. I don't care if it take me 10 minutes. I'm going to reply to you. Because I, I really appreciate anybody that leaves a comment. Because I'm telling you, one comment, two comment, five comments, 14 to 40 comments is amazing. It's the support for me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, keep leaving those comments, gang. Keep leaving those comments because it make me know that I'm doing something right. You feel me over here on this side of the camera? And y'all doing y'all thing on that side of the TV or wherever you watching me from. So, thank y'all for all the support. I love y'all, man. Until next time, y'all going to be easy and y'all going to be all right. And y'all be safe and y'all be, be prayed up, okay? Stay blessed, y'all. Go on.